When you look back now at the pilot and you look at the premise, what's interesting to me is how it evolved over years. Now the pilot was before anything had happened. The marriage, it's supposed to be different than this. Says who? Everyone. Well, they're wrong. It's just like this. <laughs> One of the things I'm curious about is how you zeroed in on the time point of Paul and Jamie's relationship. Whether that pilot should be about before they were married, right. after they were married, when they were trying to have a baby. It seems to me it's about the show finding its reality. What are we really about? Who are these people? How can the writers write for a show when they don't really have a backlog to understand organically who yeah. these people it, are? It was in, in watching the pilot, first of all, we were nine years old, which is, I found yeah. incredible. <laughs> and in many ways, I, watching it now, this is 12 years later, it looks sort of primitive to what we became. We weren't comfortable with each other. There was the language and the speed in the, in the later years. It was, it was probably twice as much talking. On the other hand, we really totally had what the show was about. The blueprint was there that this, and we always, when writing, whenever we hit a, a problem, we'd always go back to the pilot and what's the, what is at stake here? What is she upset about? What is he upset about? What are they concerned about? This tonight, we'll just, we'll both come home early and, and we'll, you know, we'll have dinner. And sex. I really think we should have sex. In the pilot, I have to credit Barnett Kelman with kind of helping me find my way into that form because if traditional, maybe not all of our favorite sitcoms are two people standing and they don't move a lot and they talk to each other and they're cheating out slightly and one says something and sets up a joke and the other gives a joke, I, I without having that experience, showed up and didn't know what to do and my impulse was to just always be busy with something. Can I say something? Flat isn't always more. And I remember Barnett wrote both of us a note when we did our last episode, and he wrote how nervous he was when he started rehearsing that I was seemed to never stop moving, and I was always coming up with some piece of business, and he thought, is this an actress hiding from what's funny, or is this somebody actually inventing something that's going to be interesting? And if he had gotten nervous and said, mm, just stand there, it won't be funny, I, I don't know what I would have done, but he sort of let me find my own way and somehow without thinking about it at the time my own way you know one of the things Paul said to me when he called me about the show is it's about what happens when you leave the party and the doors close and it's just the two of you so for me when the doors close you know I'm usually doing something while I'm talking to my partner what what is it now I just have to leave the window open for the dog Honey, it's an apartment. It's not a Volvo. Why do we go through this? In many shows that we grew up watching, you stand and deliver terrifically written lines, but I never, I've never stood in front of my couch talking to my wife, ever. And we've been together many years. <laughs> it's like, and part of the fun also in, in writing was, in real life, you pick up pieces of conversation seven minutes later. You know, you ask a question, you're talking about something else, and you go, Herbert, mm -hmm. that was the guy's name you asked me before. You know, it, it, there, it's, it's, it's never as neat as it is in life. So the pilot, I think, was us, at least I felt like I was testing the water about was I going to be able to fit into this form. It doesn't bother you that we haven't had sex in five days? Hello. <laughs> I just don't understand why it doesn't bother you. It's been almost a week. You know, it was always going to be about a couple and the dynamics of a newly formed marriage. And I think even the network said, well, maybe, had raised that question, do you want to start, should it be the honeymoon, should it be the day after they come back? And I thought, well, that's sort of false, and, and there's no absolute time, but we always felt that there was something, a couple of months go in when you realize that forever is now here. <laughs> it's like, okay, so there's a month of honeymoon, there's a month of sending thank you notes, there's a couple of months, then you go, huh. And that's where we wanted to jump in, because... You, cer you know, it certainly is not going to be a show where, gee, are they going to get together or not? We're going, no, that's given. They're already together. And I don't know that there was a show that had really explored that. And that was, to us, always the, the fun stuff. It was the nitty-gritty dynamics of what happens when the, the doors close, as Helen says. And we take, figured it takes five months for the doors to close. There's an episode you did called Met Someone, which someone, if they didn't know better, might think would be the pilot because this is where you see how Paul and Jamie met and in certain ways you sort of cast the characters for the whole series you see who they are and how they operate but in fact that was a flashback that you did after the series was well underway you had your casting down you knew who your directors were but it was it was it was a very sweet and very 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 moving uh, episode you still have the Sunday Times? last one right here thanks 
Hey, hey, what are you doing? My parents' obituary is in here. Oh, did you go ahead? Uh, both of them? It was an earthquake. <laughs> For me, the essence of that episode was when Jamie says almost as a throwaway line, I just don't want to be disappointed again. And then you begin to understand everything that's, yeah. uh, that's, that's come yeah, it before. Was, it's funny, that it's a flashback that has no kickoff. It's not like we're sitting and going, remember that time with so-and-so? Like in the cold feet, they go back to the skating rink and remember a time. This one just started and said four years ago or something. But that's one of our favorite episodes that we always, it has a big place in our heart. And for me, I always felt more grounded in the characters in the show after that episode because the holes had been filled in. It's like, well, now I know how they met, and I buy it. And, and I had never really thought it through that specifically. When did they meet? And suddenly that we had a shared history that I can see, you know, it's on the tape there. It just felt very um, real. Hi. Hi. So you're still grieving the loss of your parents, huh? <laughs> What? Beans fell on her parents in an earthquake. It was tragic, and it happened like that. I mean, talking to you, I'd seen it was on TV when I just watched it. I went, wow, I'm really rooting for those guys. Mm -hmm. It's like, I really <clears throat> like them. It was, which is an odd feeling. I usually don't think of myself as outside the show, and I will usually go, my hair looks stupid that day or something. But this, I go, wow, I was, I'm really glad that she didn't throw him out of the office. I'm I glad she... It also showed us we could play around with the form, not always to total success, but that we could play around with time or, you know. One of the great things about being on a television show is, <clears throat> unlike a movie where this is it, these are the two hours, everybody's working for all these months or years to get these two out, you know, there's a certain amount of you do your best and then it's Monday and you start the next one. So you have sisters? Yeah, me too. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Well, actually, one, but she's sort of a split personality. You pour everything into it, and then you let it go. That one worked better than that one. That one didn't work so well. You keep doing it, and so it gives you more freedom to do things like, well, let's go back and see when they met. Again, I think a show or a piece of creative work takes on a life of its own. Danny Jacobson wrote this episode, and <clears throat> he suddenly decided what our history was, and we went, yeah, that seems right. And from then on, it was sort of our little Bible, that had happened, that was how we met, and so, you know, if, when there is chemistry, not just between the two of us, but with an idea and with a group of people, then if somebody can, two young guys writing the sex show or Danny Jacobson writing this, um, you kind of plug into this thing and, and his unconscious and our unconscious all feeds the same thing and it comes out and we all go, yeah, that seems good. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it felt so different, sort of out of time, because it was a flashback and it just, it looked and feels different. Let's have a look. <laughs>